hey welcome to the mac observers youtube channel it's me charlotte henry thank you for joining me this week the week i'm recording this video apple has unveiled ios 13.7 one of the big notable things about this update is the change to its covid19 exposure notifications uh, technology it's obviously a partnership it's working on with google the latest version of this means that a health authority does not actually need to produce an app uh, to, for an iPhone to give you exposure notifications. Uh, they still need to work with Apple and Google and within this API, but it doesn't need a standalone app. As the documentation says, in some regions, public health authorities may offer exposure notifications without creating an app. If this is available in your region, you may receive a notification when it becomes available and you can decide whether you want to participate. The updated version of exposure notifications is available through the settings on your iPhone. If you, if you scroll down there, you can see it. If you tap on that, you can obviously see the option to turn it on. Tap that and you get guided through the setup process. This starts uh, by you picking the country or territory you're in. So if you go down to the United States, and you can sit, yes, tap on the United States. You can pick your state or, or region within the US. Uh, well, District of Columbia, Washington DC is one of the places that said it's going to work with this. But as you can see, it's currently not available. Again, if you go to the UK, not available, but a lot of these places are hoping to have it. And you can get availability alerts. So you're told when it does become available where you live. Obviously, there are some concerns regarding privacy and COVID-19 exposure notifications, but uh, the documentation says that exposure notification data will be stored and processed on device. Uh, it only goes to a public or health authority in the area if a user chooses to report a positive diagnosis of COVID-19 or if a user is notified that they have come into contact with an individual who is positive for COVID-19. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in, leave it below the video. And please do subscribe to our YouTube channel where we've got more great stuff coming up soon.